Hi and welcome to Vintage Doll Collector. This video is a preview of my November 2nd, 2019 auction, which will be held live online at liveauctioneers.com. Because there are 175 items in the auction, I'm only going to talk a little bit about each one and show a couple of photos, but if you want more information about the dolls or their condition and to see a lot more photos, I'll leave the direct link to the auction in the description box. If you're watching YouTube on TV like I do and don't have a description box, just go to liveauctioneers.com and search for Playthings Past Auctions and all the items will come up. For my regular viewers, I want to reassure you that I'm not turning the channel into just an ad for stuff I'm trying to sell. That would be boring for all of us. I'm going to group the dolls together by category, antique, vintage, modern, artist dolls, etc., so that if you're not interested in a certain type of doll, you can just fast forward to the next section. Starting off with the antique dolls, this sweet 8-inch German doll has an antique bisque shoulder head and arms, but her bisque legs look to be newer replacements. The mark on the back left corner of her shoulder plate is very hard to see, but looks like 354. She was beautifully costumed by Vera G. Law of Rayleigh, Essex, England in 1972. This little googly doll by William Goebel is just seven and a quarter inches tall and is circa 1916. She has a five-piece composition body. A lovely example of a low-brow china head doll has a high hairstyle and very rosy cheeks. She was made by Hertwig and dates to the 1890s. She measures 18 inches tall and has a cloth body with kid leather arms made to look like gloves. She was a fabulous antique two-piece dress of purple and blue silk. This happy character boy doll with adorable big ears makes me smile whenever I see him. He's 12 inches tall with a composition or paper mache head, wood and wire body. When you press on his stomach, he brings his arms together. He holds a metal symbol in each hand. The sweet four and a half inch all bisque doll is incised with the number 620 on the back of his head. He's jointed at the shoulders and hips and wears a newer burgundy velvet suit with a large collar trimmed in lace. This very unusual miniature doll measures six and a half inches tall and has a bisque head with painted features. His hair is glued on and appears to be mohair. His body is yarn-wrapped wire. He wears a wool uniform, including red coat with epaulets and long tails, and beads for buttons. His shoes are metal. He carries a pair of wooden drumsticks, but has lost his drum somewhere along the way. Here's another antique miniature musician. This fiddle player is 6 and 3 8 inches tall. His head is either made from wax or coated in wax, not sure. His body is similar to the previous doll with the same metal feet. In one hand he holds a stick representing his bow and his fiddle is made from cardboard, wood and string. This lovely German doll has a bisque shoulder head turned slightly to her right and bisque lower arms with a kid body. She has brown glass stationary eyes and an open mouth with several tiny teeth. She measures 12 and 3 quarter inches tall and is marked with the number 3. Another nice antique doll waiting for the right wig and outfit. This 18 inch one has composition shoulder head turned to the right with a composition pate and beautiful brown glass sleep eyes. She has no markings. Her body's cloth with composition lower arms and legs. This low brow china head doll measures about 11 and a half inches tall. She has stone bisque arms and china legs and a cloth body. She has a gold snood painted onto her hair. Not sure if this was done when she was made or added later. Here's a lovely 20-inch Ludwig Griner doll with paper mache shoulder head, cloth body, and leather forearms. She has the original 1858 label. This very unusual topsy-turvy doll has black and white celluloid faces made by Schildkraut with the rest of the doll made of cloth. The entire doll measures about 9.5 inches long. This is a lot of three all bisque dolls from the early 20th century. The doll dressed in lace has a molded pink band in her hair and is in size Nippon. The other two are from Germany. This lot of seven mostly German dolls range in size from two inches to four and a quarter inches. The largest doll has blue eyes glazed to look like glass in good detail in her hair. 
The glazed china frozen Charlotte has a sweet face. Pretty little miniature lady doll with a china shoulder head, arms and legs on a cloth body. She measures just four and a half inches tall. This lot of three antique doll heads includes two that are bisque and one metal head. The larger of the two bisque socket heads has blue sleep eyes and pierced ears and is in sized Heinrich Handwork Simon Hall bag. This antique quilt of 19th century cotton fabrics is about 23 by 13 inches and is entirely hand pieced and quilted with a newer red binding. It may have been cut down from a larger quilt and would make a lovely backdrop or accessory for an antique doll. This Martha Chase doll from the early 20th century is 13 inches tall and made of cloth with a molded face and painted surface. She has stitched fingers and toes and a sateen covered body. She's been very well loved. This great character puppet of a man with a black hat has a carved wooden head, hands, and lower legs with the rest of his body of fabric. He measures about 16 inches tall altogether. He's stamped Made in Germany in red ink on the back of his neck. This 21-inch German china lady doll dates to the 1860s and has a wonderful face with molded upper and lower eyelids. She has a paper label on the back of her shoulder plate that tells she is from the Bazaar of Fancy, White Child and Company, number 10 North 5th Street, St. Louis. This 12-inch lady is another Schildkraut doll with a celluloid shoulder head. She has brown glass stationary eyes. Her wig may be silk or rayon and is ringed with curly floss trim. If you have a special little doll that you want to display while protecting her from dust and pets, this glass dome with wooden base would do the trick. It measures about 10 and a half inches tall and is 6 inches in diameter. This lovely lady is 18 inches tall with a china shoulder head, arms and legs on a muslin body. Except for the one foot that doesn't match, her parts all appear to be original. She has very nice modeling of her eye sockets, which is usually not seen except on much larger dolls. This little boy doll by Armand Marseille measures about seven and a quarter inches tall. He has a bisque head with stationary blue glass eyes, open mouth with teeth and a blonde mohair wig. He has a five-piece composition body with molded boots. He wears what appears to be his original outfit, a wool felt military officer's uniform, including a sword. A cloth clown doll with big googly eyes is about 15 inches tall, with facial features drawn in black ink, and he has black cotton yarn hair. His wire armature makes him very easy to pose. This hand-carved wooden man is jointed with what appear to be nails at his shoulders, hips, and knees. His face and clothing details are hand-painted. His head is carved to resemble a feather headdress. I have a couple of lots of books that might be of interest to a collector of antique dolls. This is a lot of four books all about German dolls, including the very useful German doll encyclopedia. This lot of four books has a lot of information on all bisque dolls. In this book, Benefit Dolls compiles articles on dolls that were made or sold to raise funds for worthy causes including Polly Heckevelder, Asian Mission Dolls, Abby Cady, and Miss Columbia. I also have a couple of lots of postcards featuring dolls, one lot of used postcards, and another lot that are all unused. A stunning cloth doll by artist Mary Bolger, hand-sewn and hand-painted and dated 1988. Her name is Vivian, and she's 24 inches tall when standing, and sits about 14 inches high. This fantastic one-of-a-kind 13-inch doll was made by artist Edna Daly and dated 1983. She has a femo shoulder head, lower arms and lower legs, with the rest of her body of cloth. She has a mohair wig and blue glass eyes. Her face is painted very delicately, and she has individual fingers. This wonderful 10 and a half inch cloth little girl doll with her raggedy Ian is Easter Sunday, made by well-known doll artist Frances Deeks Ravka and dated 1974. She has a hard head covered with stockinette and painted with curly black hair. She wears a nylon dotted Swiss dress with puff sleeves and a nylon pinafore. 
Her cloth raggedy Ann doll has painted features and yarn hair. Diana, a lady of 1830, is by Mirren Barry. She's 12 inches tall and all cloth with a hardened face and hand-painted features. Her wire armature enables her to stand unaided. She was made as the souvenir for the 25th anniversary of Nyata, the National Institute of American Doll Artists, in 1987. Under Diana's skirt is a hidden pocket which holds a piece of paper describing every article of her clothing. In this auction are three dolls by Nyata artist Betty Curtis. The dolls have heads made of boiled tissue paper, covered with stockinette fabric and painted with inset glass eyes. They have a wire armature so they can sit or stand with individual fingers that can be posed to hold objects. This woman has a brown mohair wig styled in a braided bun and carries her baby. This older lady has a gray mohair wig. The details on this doll are amazing from her handmade wire frame glasses to her many layers of clothing to her mohair eyebrows. The cello player wears striped pants and a plaid shirt. He has a few differences from most other Betty Curtis dolls. He's a slightly smaller scale, standing up he would be seven and a half inches tall, and his hands are painted, which is unusual. The cello and bow are carved from wood and have strings. A lot of five dolls by Ann Wilkinson Designs, handmade in the UK in the 1980s. These sweet little floppy dolls have plastic heads, hands, and feet with hand-painted details, soft stuffed cloth bodies, and yarn hair. This lovely lady is a Saroff character doll made in the 1930s. She's lost the label on the bottom of her base, so her identity is a mystery. She has a paper mache head with hand painted features and a cloth body. Little Traveler by doll artist Kathy Redmond was made as the souvenir for the UFDC Region 12 conference held in Royal Oak, Michigan in 1985. She stands nine inches tall and has a porcelain head and antique style composition and wood ball jointed body. These two character dolls are Rena's Doe Originals from the Ozarks. They have wonderfully sculpted heads, cloth torsos, pipe cleaner arms, and wire legs so they can sit or stand. Hope is 13 inches tall and has a porcelain head with beautiful Asian features and molded black hair. She's copyright 1986 and signed on the back of her neck by the artist Helen Kish. I believe she was a souvenir for the Nyata convention in 1988. Hope's sweater is tagged, Costume by Patty Hale, another Nyata artist. Here's a cute pair of all bisque dolls made by West Virginia artist Edna Henderson. The little girl has a molded bow in her hair and carries a puppy. The boy has a molded hat and carries a sailboat. They date from the 1970s. This family of four cloth dolls, ranging in height from 7.5 inches to 11.5 inches tall, were made by North Carolina doll maker Ella Holder Daub, who lived from 1892 to 1986. They're dressed in meticulous detail, representing the Sunday worship attire of a Moravian family of the late 1700s. Absolutely amazing workmanship. Sunrise and Sunset are one-of-a-kind cloth dolls made in 1981 by New Hampshire doll artist Norma Mellon. The older gentleman sits in a chair to play his fiddle while his granddaughter dances. The dolls are made of stockinette, needle sculpted and painted with mohair wigs. They have individual fingers and very detailed costumes. Thumbelina by Helen Kish was the souvenir for the United Federation of Doll Clubs National Convention in 2006. She measures about six inches tall and appears to be made of resin. Her original packaging is an elaborate representation of the water lily, which is Thumbelina's home for a time, in the original Hans Christian Andersen story. The prince was the companion doll to Thumbelina. He's six and a half inches tall, made of resin, with painted brown eyes and black hair, and is fully jointed. He also lives in a water lily. This all cloth doll represents Betsy Ross, the maker of the first American flag. She's 20 inches tall, with embroidered facial features and brown yarn hair. She's marked on her back, American Pride Collection, 1975, by Carol. 
This unique doll by Jane Bradbury has a porcelain head with two faces, a peaceful sleeping one and a grumpy frowning one, and porcelain arms on a soft cloth body. This pair of wonderful miniature porcelain dolls by Kathy Hansen resemble the German character dolls made by Cameron Reinhardt and Kathy Cruz in the early 20th century. The larger doll is three inches tall and has blonde hair styled in a mass of curls on either side of her head and painted brown eyes. Her little sister is just two and five eighth inches tall with auburn hair in braids wound into buns on either side. Both dolls are jointed at their shoulders and hips. This amazing trunk set is by miniature artist Tina Richardson. The doll's just two inches tall and has a head full of long curls. She wears a crocheted dress with silk ribbon detail and a slip and pantaloons underneath and carries her own doll which is just three quarters of an inch tall. She comes in her wooden trunk with another dress and accessories. Here's a lot of three very unusual dolls by artist Beatrice Stone with paper mache mask faces and cloth bodies. Their hair is made of some kind of plant fiber. The seven inch artist doll holds a cardboard palette. The choir singer is signed by the artist and dated 55. The elf is unsigned but made in the same way as the others. He has a wonderful character face. Lucy Webb Hayes was the wife of U.S. President Rutherford B. Hayes and was the nation's first lady from 1877 to 1881. Ohio doll artist Ruth Bartolome made this doll's china head in Lucy's likeness as the souvenir for the United Federation of Doll Club's 11th National Convention in 1960. This awesome antique mohair teddy bear measures about 24 inches tall and about 17 inches seated. He's fully jointed and has a slight hump. He has glass eyes, a stitched nose and mouth, and felt paw pads with excelsior stuffing. A very clean lot of three vintage plush animals. The reclining tiger has green eyes and is tagged Gund Sani Foam J. Swedlin Inc. The teddy bear style tiger has the moving disguise and is tagged Pixie by Mispa Toy and Novelty Company. The leopard has a tiny cloth tag stamped made in Japan. They each measure eight to nine inches long. Martha Muller Rose Teddy Bear by German bear artist Johanna Haida is 16 inches tall and made of mohair with suede cloth paw pads. She's fully jointed and has a growler. Rose has her hang tag and certificate. Winnie the Pooh and his friends Eeyore, Piglet, Kanga, and Roo are made of good quality synthetic felt. Pooh is nine inches tall while Roo is just four inches. They're not marked or tagged in any way but are beautifully made. This nine inch bear is Lem, made by artist Carolyn Lamoth of distressed German mohair. His big ears and humpback give him a unique character. A lovely little plush owl with felt eyes, beak, and feet, handmade by Healy Toys in Hastings, Sussex, England in the 1970s. This vintage plush Trudy Toys musical elephant is tagged and sits about seven and a half inches tall. She has a wind-up music box in her belly. When the music plays, she waves her trunk around and around. She dates to the 1950s or early 60s. In addition to the miniature dolls in the auction, there are several lots of dollhouse accessories. This cool set of miniature fiesta ware includes four plates, bowls, cups, and saucers, one each in red, green, yellow, and dark blue, plus an aqua serving bowl. Here's a cute vintage lot of miniature accessories for your dollhouse bathroom, including a towel bar and towels, two packages of soaps, tissues, and a set of blue bubble bath and lotion or shampoo bottles. This lot of accessories will help decorate your dollhouse or room box for the Christmas holidays and includes an antique style candle mold and red and green towels. The tiny packaged set of six gingerbread men cookies is amazing. 
A big lot of vintage miniature food and accessories for your dollhouse kitchen includes bananas, squashes, and watermelon, a cookie jar, and two Toby jugs, plus lots more. The cherry pie with its lattice crust is beautifully made. This sweet lot of vintage miniature toys and kids' room decor items includes a wooden coat rack, lamp, books, and teddy bear. There's a four-piece wooden soldier marching band, an adorable bear jack-in-the-box. This lot of vintage dollhouse miniatures is mostly 112 scale, but a few may be larger or smaller. Includes some nice miniature prints. The steeple clock by Grandmother Stover is in the original package. Another good sized lot of miniatures including an 8 volume world book encyclopedia and set of lacy bed pillows. The old fashioned metal bed warmer has a removable lid. Fourteen Inch Cindy is a vinyl reproduction of the original Dewey's Cochran doll from the 1940s. She was made by F&B and comes in her original box. Rosemary is a vinyl reproduction of F&B's 1920s composition doll. This 1990s version is 18 inches tall and has raven black hair and sausage curls. Robert Tonner's 18 inch Kitty Collier doll has red hair and a ponytail and wears her American Beauty outfit. She comes with her complete floral peignoir outfit, which is in its original box. F&B's Brenda Starr, dressed in her black orchid supper club outfit, was a limited edition of 500, made for the Tonner Doll Company convention in 2004. A gorgeous modern fashion doll. Ginny channels Shirley Temple in this 10.5 inch all porcelain doll with blonde curls and hazel sleep eyes. Her pleated organdy dress evokes Shirley's wonderful movie costumes of the 1930s. There are two outfits in the auction made by the Danbury Mint to fit the reproduction 35-inch Playpal-sized Shirley Temple doll. They will fit the vintage dolls as well. This is the Heidi outfit, which includes the dress, panties, and hat. And this is Shirley's iconic stand-up-and-cheer outfit. It includes the dress, panties, hair ribbon, socks, and shoes. Both dresses have the Shirley Temple name pin as well. The small Finnerly is a 5-inch doll made by Kathy Cruz in Germany in 2005. She has a porcelain head with molded hair and cloth body. These two 35th anniversary Barbie dolls are reproductions of the original 1959 ponytail Barbie. The lot includes one blonde and one brunette doll. This modern Schildkraut doll stands 17 and a half inches tall and has a vinyl socket head and shoulder plate, vinyl arms and legs on a cloth body. Her upper arms and legs are wired so she is somewhat poseable. She has inset glass eyes and human hair wig. This is a 16 inch all porcelain reproduction of Hertel and Schwab 173 Jubilee googly eyed doll with water watermelon smile. She wears a plaid dress and eyelet pinafore. Her mischievous expression is irresistible. Here's another reproduction of an antique doll made by Linda Marks, signed and dated 1981. It's a Kessner mold. We think it's 237, but the mold number is very faint. She's nine and a half inches tall and has a composition ball jointed body. Leaf is one of the fairy dolls designed by Cindy McClure and made by Victoria Impex in 1984. He's all porcelain except for his stuffed cloth lower torso and is fully jointed. This porcelain Patsy doll was made by F&B in 1994. She has molded hair and painted eyes and is dressed for winter in her knit sweater and corduroy skirt. The 14 inch Shirley Temple antique doll is all porcelain made by the Danbury Mint. She wears a reproduction of the accordion pleated dancing dress Shirley wore in the film Curly Top. Another 14-inch Shirley Temple doll by the Danbury Mint has a porcelain head and limbs on a cloth body. She's dressed as the Littlest Grand Marshal and was designed by Helen Kish. This lot of 10 Barbie family dolls from the late 1980s and early 1990s includes Skipper and her friends Kevin and Courtney, her little sisters Stacy and Kelly, and brother Todd. 
All Vinyl Lenny Doll by Affordable Designs is 11 and a half inches tall and comes in his original box. He has painted brown eyes and rooted brown hair and is a limited edition of 200 dolls. A lot of four vintage Anna Lee dolls, all made in New Hampshire, includes the following. Mending My Teddy, Summer Solitude, the 10th Anniversary Logo Doll Losing His Ice Cream, and this Carrot Top Girl in the Strawberry Print Dress. This lot of animal paper dolls includes Beatrice Bunny, a couple of teddy bear paper dolls by Western and Peck Gandre, a very old Animal World cutouts page, and this cutouts bag which has a cat paper doll with a fairy tale costume and accessories, on one side Robin Hood and on the other Little Red Riding Hood. A lot of vintage celebrity paper dolls includes Natalie Wood, Trisha Nixon, Jean Tierney, Ginger Rogers, and many more. Some of these are commercially produced paper dolls, others are artist and collector made items. I don't recognize this guy, do you? This lot of vintage paper dolls from the 60s and 70s are all based on real dolls, including Dusty, Mrs. Beasley, Tootles, Fashion Flatsy, and Remco's Heidi and Jan. Here's a lot of vintage paper dolls from the 70s, including Magic Mary Ann and Magic Mary Jane magnetic paper dolls, a Gingham's box set, a couple of Betsy McCall pages, and this Holly Hobby birthday card by American Greetings with punch-out paper doll and outfits. This very cool lot includes several children's sections from newspapers of the 1920s and 30s with paper toys and activity pages. One page from the Minneapolis Journal is this Puss in Boots with Miller's Son paper doll. This is a vintage Shirley Temple paper doll from Barcelona, Spain with a four and a half inch doll and three pages of outfits to cut out. Another Shirley Temple lot is this collection of paper items, including the book Shirley Temple, The Real Little Girl in Her Own Honolulu Diary, and the Shirley Temple Dolls and Dresses Paper Doll Book from 1934. It also includes a rare 1936 issue of Woman Magazine from Australia with stories about Shirley. Woody Woodpecker's crazy mixed-up color factory game was made by Whitman and is dated 1972. It's complete in the original box with all the pieces. This adorable pink puppy is a vinyl squeak toy from the 1960s. She measures about 8 inches tall and was made by J.L. Prescott. We have a couple of lots of Disney toys in the auction. This lot is three vintage squeeze toys of Snow White's dwarfs. Sneezy, happy, and grumpy average about 8 inches tall and are made of soft rubber or vinyl. This lot of vintage Disney toys features Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck. Two of the Mickeys are by Sun Rubber. This 104-piece Victory Plywood Jigsaw Puzzle was made in England. The colorful illustration depicts the three bears surprising Goldilocks as she wakes up from her nap in Baby Bear's bed. This great little battery-operated metal sewing machine was made in Japan by Waco, probably in the 1960s. It has the original box, too. Here's an 8-inch Supergirl action figure by Mego. If superheroes aren't your thing, she's also a very pretty doll. These are peckabouts, wind-up toy woodpeckers from the 1980s. They have suction cups on the bottoms of their feet, so when you wind them up, they can peck at whatever they're stuck on. This white tin litho stove with red plastic knobs and handles is by Marks and includes lots of accessories. A great display item to enhance your kitchen or doll collection. The 40-page Ideal Innovations catalog from 1973 was given to their UK dealers. It has full-color photos of tons of games, including Mousetrap and Kerplunk, Shaker Makers and other toys, and dolls like Chrissy and Velvet. In this auction, we have three big lots of Simpsons World of Springfield interactive playsets and the figures to go with them. When the figures are plugged into the playsets, they say their catchphrases from the show. This lot includes Barney's Bolorama and the First Church of Springfield, plus 11 figures including Disco Stew and Dr. Nick Riviera. This lot includes Krusty Lou Studios with Sideshow Bob and the Springfield DMV with Selma. There are nine additional figures in the lot as well, including Itchy and Scratchy and Lionel Hutz. 
The third Simpsons lot includes the Androids Dungeon Comic Book Shop with Comic Book Guy and the Springfield Elementary Cafeteria with Lunch Lady Doris. The seven additional figures in this lot include Ralph Wiggum and Groundskeeper Willie. The Whittler is a wood carving set made by Ideal Airplane and Supply Company of New York and appears to be from the 1940s. The set includes blocks of balsa wood and instructions for carving character figures including a cowboy, soldier, mounty, and marine, and powdered paints to color them with. The auction features several lots of dolls from all around the world, many dressed in their national costumes or made as travel souvenirs. This lot of three vintage souvenir dolls from Hawaii includes a hard plastic doll in a holoku dress with necklace of tiny shells, a cloth doll from Angels of Hawaii with printed features, and a makalaika doll made of tapa mache with a stump body. This unmarked composition boy and girl doll from Hawaii are dressed in matching outfits. They're eight inches tall, jointed at the shoulders and hips, and have painted, side-glancing, googly eyes. This lot of vintage travel dolls includes both new and old dolls. A vinyl doll dressed in traditional Sami style from Finland, cloth Parsi woman from India, purchased by original owner in 1935, and four cloth Mexican dolls, also pre-1940. A charming pair of vintage cloth dolls by Danish artist Lisbeth Lind depict an Inuit mother and baby from Greenland. They have hand-drawn features and stand approximately six and a half inches tall. This hard plastic doll from the UK is dressed as a pearly queen, her outfit decorated with buttons and sequins. The real pearly kings and queens are Londoners who dress up in these costumes and raise money for charitable causes. Here's a lot of three vintage Chinese opera dolls dressed in silk costumes. The ladies have elaborately molded hair decorations. Their outfits are embroidered and trimmed with real fur. The limbo dance originated in Trinidad and became popular with tourists throughout the Caribbean in the 1950s. This unusual doll is made of some hard material covered with nylon stockinette with painted features and curly synthetic hair. The mountain man and his wife stand about seven inches tall and are jointed at the arms only. These vintage character dolls are carved from wood in a primitive style. Two little sock dolls made in a seated position, tagged hand-sewn in New Orleans. They have embroidery floss mouths and tiny triangles of satin ribbon for eyes. This wooden lot includes a pair of German carved wooden bottle stoppers and two tiny figures. The smallest figure is just one and a half inches tall, including the base, and is believed to be from Italy. He was purchased by his original owner sometime before 1940. This early travel souvenir doll is a Mexican man with paper mache head, pressed cardboard torso, and composition arms and legs, with molded boots. A nice lot of vintage national costume dolls includes dolls from Ireland and Hong Kong as well as these colorful cloth dolls from Hungary and Russia, and an Ecuadorian couple with wooden heads and yarn-wrapped wire bodies. Here's a pair of dolls made in Poland. Their mask faces are cloth, indicating earlier production. The black dolls of this type are hard to find. This lot of vintage travel dolls includes a couple of dolls from Italy, as well as this jointed wooden lady from Honduras cloth man with embroidered features, possibly Inuit, and this doll with braided hair in three different colors, wearing the Armenian national costume. This very unusual couple is made of coconut fiber with painted facial features. These dolls are also from the estate of that early collector. This couple are wearing Romanian folk costumes and come in their original boxes. They have beautifully painted faces. This pair of hard plastic dolls is from Brazil. They have googly sleep eyes and are dressed in coordinating outfits. His Majesty the King, George VI, was made by Farnell's Alpha Toys in England in the 1930s or 40s. His face is beautifully hand-painted and he wears a detailed reproduction of his Royal Air Force uniform. 
This 13-inch compo baby is F&B's Bubbles, made in the early 20th century. Most Bubbles dolls have sleep eyes, but this is the harder to find painted eye version. Flag dolls were made in the mid 20th century of a rubbery vinyl with limbs wired for posability. This little blonde girl is three inches tall and the red-headed toddler boy is slightly larger. This sweet baby is Cheerful Tearful, made by Mattel in the mid 1960s. When you raise her left arm, she smiles. When you lower it, she frowns and cries. This 15-inch vinyl doll is marked Laurie doll on the back of her head and probably dates to the 1960s. A beautiful vintage bride. A wonderful doll sold by German Toys and Crafts, likely in the 1970s. She has a vinyl head and soft stuffed cloth body, very huggable. This lot of sewing patterns to make clothing for Sasha, Gregor, and Sasha baby dolls was designed by Denise Ortecalis. These are dated 1982 and 1983 and include a wide variety of outfits to dress your dolls. This composition doll may be an unmarked ideal Shirley Temple doll or a close copy. She's missing her right arm, but the compo pots are in excellent condition. This sexy Ken clone would make a great gift for yourself or a friend. He measures about 9 inches long. Vinyl Mary Poppins doll by Horseman was reissued in the 1970s in a box celebrating the Walt Disney Company's 50th anniversary. She's 12 inches tall with rooted black hair. A lot of four 7-inch pocket dolls designed by Joan Walsh Angland are made of stockinette with yarn hair and have removable dresses. The girl in the pink nightie has her own pocket doll. This 13-inch Joan Walsh Anglin doll could be the big sister to the pocket dolls. She was made in the USA and, like the smaller dolls, dates to the 1960s. Here's a lot of two vinyl high heel glamour dolls from the late 1950s. The 10-inch brunette doll is marked P in a circle on the back of her head. The smaller Little Miss Marie doll was sold by Woolworth stores. 20-inch Lonely Lisa was made by Royal in the mid-1960s. She's one of the dolls that were made to capitalize on the popularity of Margaret Keene's paintings of big-eyed children. This doll is called So Big, and she was made by Madame Alexander in the 60s. She's 23 inches long and has a vinyl head and hands on a cloth body. A pair of cute Campbell Kids dolls measure about 9 inches tall and are jointed at the neck, shoulders, and hips. They were made by Carolyn Gallagher Dolls in 1978. This Raggedy Ann and Andy pair of dolls have turned wooden bodies with wooden ball heads. They're hand-painted and about 6.5 inches tall. Baby Soft Sounds was made by Fisher Price and was one of the first interactive dolls. She has a battery-powered motion sensor that causes her to make baby sounds when picked up. When she's put down, she fusses and cries. She's in her original box. This lot of seven hard plastic Nancy Ann storybook dolls from the 50s includes a bride, groom, and bridesmaid, and four other dolls. Here's a lot of two composition dolls from the 30s. The doll with the carrot red mohair wig is unmarked. The other doll is Patsy, and she's marked F&B Patricia on her back. She has a human hair wig. This tiny guy measures just two and a quarter inches tall and has a molded metal head, hands and feet on a wire body. The top hat, which is part of his head, makes him look like a chimney sweep or other Victorian character. A lot of books all about vintage Barbie and family dolls and their clothing. A lot of four Hasbro dolls includes Jim or Jerrica in her original outfit, Rock and Curl Jim, and Video of the Holograms. Starlight Girl Chrissy is one of the harder to find dolls in the Jim universe. Ragsy Cupie is all vinyl, jointed at the neck, and marked Cameo 63 on the back of the head. 
Brigitte by F&B is one of their Petite Fee series of dolls made in 1980 and comes in her original box. She's made from the half-pint mold with adorable side-glancing sleep eyes and a sweet smile. This hard plastic doll by the Block Doll Corporation dates to the 1950s. When you press the button on her belly, she shakes her head no. When you press the button on her back, she nods yes. This fixer upper lot of three vintage composition dolls includes two F&B storybook dolls. The bigger girl has an unusual waist joint. They have wonderful faces. Talking Busy Ken was made in 1972 and wears his original outfit. He comes with a Get Ups and Go Doctor's outfit from 1973. This 16-inch unmarked composition doll is likely debutine by Aaron B. from the 1930s. She has smoky eye shadow and a blonde mohair wig. A lot of five vintage all bisque dolls. The three little girls and two boys are brightly painted. They were made in Japan. This composition doll is 15 inches tall with flirty sleep eyes and a brunette human hair wig and braids. She was made by Ideal and is either Ginger or Pigtail Sally from the late 30s or early 40s. She wears what is possibly her original outfit, a cotton dress and pinafore. Sweet Compo Boy and Girl dolls measure 8 inches tall and have molded hair and painted eyes. They're dressed in matching outfits that resemble Central European costumes. This outfit made in the early 70s for Mattel's Rock Flowers dolls is Frontier Flowers, a calico drainy dress with apron. This is one of the harder to find outfits for these dolls and especially in the original package. Jean Darling sewing outfit in the original box, dated 1936, includes a seven and a half inch painted bisque doll with fabric and notions to dress her. Some of the dress fabrics are printed for embroidery. Two lovely vintage composition dolls. The bigger girl is a debutine by Aaron B. with a cloth torso. The other doll is 14 inches tall and has brown tin sleep eyes. Both dolls have newer wigs. Truly Scrumptious Doll by Mattel was made in the late 60s to represent the character played by Sally Ann Howes in the film Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. She has rooted eyelashes and wears her original lace dress. A very sweet 16-inch composition doll with blue sleep eyes and smoky eyeshadow. Her dark blonde mohair wig still has the original barrettes. Two hard plastic ginger dolls by Cosmopolitan made in the 50s. With one blonde doll and one brunette and three extra tagged outfits, you have an instant collection. This lot of three cloth dolls range from 9.5 to 14 inches tall. Two have embroidered features. They all have yarn hair. A lot of three books of patterns and instructions for making clothing and accessories for your dolls includes Mary Hoyer and Her Dolls, which has knit and crochet patterns as well as sewing patterns, and Sewing for 20th Century Dolls, which includes 115 patterns to make for your dolls, including The Bilo Baby, Raggedy Ann, Betsy McCall, Patsy Ann, Shirley Temple, The Little Chap Family, and many, many more. These six books are all about vintage dolls, including I Had That Doll by the editors of Doll Reader, and Madame Alexander Dolls, 1965-1990 to by Patricia Smith. Thank you so much for joining me for this preview of my November 2nd auction. For more information on any of the dolls and lots more photos, go to liveauctioneers.com and search for Playthings Past Auctions, or click the link in the description box below. If you'd like to be notified when I have new videos posted, click the subscribe button and the little bell icon. See you next time.